How to make a Stuart triple expansion engine run. Part 19. Every model boat steam engine needs to be fitted with an exhaust condenser oil trap to prevent oil pollution on the water. This engine needs one with a large capacity. I also silver solder the main exhaust flange to a brass elbow. Originally this engine did not work at all, but now after quite a bit of modification it runs very well on compressed air, but I do need to give it a steam test. Before steaming the engine though, I'm going to make an exhaust condenser oil trap. I've shown the making of these things in quite a few videos, so I'm not going to labour any of the points. First of all, I place the copper tube on a piece of brass sheet and draw around it. Holding the felt tip pen in such a way so that the line is not exactly the same size as the tube. For this job it needs to be a little bit bigger. By measuring the diameter of the line in various places, I scribe some lines and using a felt tip pen I make a spot in the centre. The next job involves the bandsaw and I'm going to cut out the shape on the inside of the line. But before that, I use a centre drill to drill a hole in the centre of the piece of brass, followed by drilling a hole using a quarter of an inch diameter twist drill, which will allow me to fit it into the lathe. This is not a precision item, so it doesn't really have to be held that accurately in the lathe itself. For instance, this is a cap head bolt to hold the part in the chuck. And what I'm doing here is very lightly marking the metal using a random round nose tool which is not ideal but it does the job. Then it's over to the bandsaw to cut along the line. This footage is running at a higher speed than normal just to get through it. I've shown the making of condensers many times on my channel so I think in the case of cutting out the part on the bandsaw I'll run the video at four times normal speed. The diameter of the centre that I'm cutting out of the piece of brass will be larger than required. So I can relax, it doesn't have to be 100% because very soon I'll be turning it in the lathe to the correct diameter. I'd like to mention at this stage I'm also using a new blade in the bandsaw which made the job much easier because blunt bandsaw blades of this size wander about. Even the new blade wandered on this job because I was going too fast. For the final turning I used a countersunk M6 Allen Caphead bolt and I held the nut in the chuck. The countersunk bolt helped to centralise the part in the chuck. Before starting the turning operation, I used a live centre to hold everything rigid, but I'm still only taking fine cuts. Using my calibrated eye, I figured out roughly how much metal I needed to remove from this piece of brass, and in no time at all it was the correct size. All I needed to do was clean up the edges with a file, because the last thing I want is a sharp edge on the top cap of the condenser. Once the turning operation was complete, I simply removed the bolt. I enlarged the central hole to 9 30 seconds of an inch, which is tapping size for 5 16 by 32 threads per inch. The threading operation was started in the lathe, but now I'm doing it manually on the bench. I use a reversible ratchet socket for this, and it's very useful. I screwed a drain valve that will eventually have a long pipe fitted to it into the hole and sat the cap in place on top of the tube. Now it's time to cut out the base. I started the job on my larger bandsaw, but it was taking too long. I finished the job on the smaller bandsaw, and here I'm cleaning up the edges on my belt sander. You need a bit of practice to do this, because it's really difficult to get it perfectly square. But as you can see, when I put my square against it, it's pretty close. I just need to remove a very small amount. Then it will be square, as you can see here. The exhaust condenser needs two holes drilling in it. Here's the first one. I drill it all the way through, 9 30 seconds of an inch, and once again, using the same tap, I thread it 5 16 by 32 threads per inch. There will also be another hole drilled at 90 degrees to this one in the copper tube. But I will do that after I've put the fitting in this one. Doing it this way makes it easy to see the 90 degrees. Now for something completely different, I'm in the outer part of the workshop and I'm about to silver solder this elbow to the exhaust flange from the low pressure cylinder. After applying the flux, I use my blowtorch to heat the part to the correct temperature. 
Here, as per usual, I am applying slightly too much silver solder. Too much is generally stronger than too little. I quenched the part in some water and then went back into the main workshop. What I'm doing here, first with very coarse sandpaper, is scratching the surface of the copper tube. Then using Scotch Brite, I'm making a lot of finer scratches. This is to be a key for the paint. I use an etch primer which doesn't really etch the brass, but sticks very well to it. I've also cleaned up the area on the inside at both ends, and I will be soft soldering the part in this area. I'm going to fit another elbow to the steam inlet on the condenser, but it needs re-threading with the British standard of quarter by 40 threads per inch. Here's a good tip, I need to drill four holes in the base, at the corners, and to get them in the right place, I just use a washer. Then I draw around the inside of the washer, and this tells me where to drill the hole. A very simple job, which seems to work. The edges of the brass were distorted slightly when they were guillotined. Only on two edges, though, because I sawed the other two. Now it's back into the outer part of the workshop to use, first of all, my one-inch belt sander to round the corners. Again, no jigs, fixtures or fittings were used, just my calibrated eye. I call it a calibrated eye, but it's not really that. I've just done this so many times, I don't even have to think about it. I used to make these commercially and sell them, but I stopped because it was really a non-profit making exercise. And now, as you may or may not be aware, I make a video six days a week. So I really don't have the time to make condensers to sell at a loss. I'm only making this one because it is essential for the running of this triple expansion engine, which is going to be fitted into a model boat which is seven feet long. Using my four inch belt sander, I scratch the top surface of this piece of metal because it's going to be painted. Here it is, it's the base. This clip gives you some idea how the condenser is going to look when it's finished. But it still needs another hole drilling at the top at the right hand side, 90 degrees to the inlet. And that's it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.